Hey, Tater Tot, it's time for your buggies. Let's get started with our day. Can you say hi to everybody? You're peeling on your face. Is that bothering you? Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, sweet boy. You got a little bit on there? Yeah. You're like in your little heater rock. Did you not eat your greens? It's cold, huh? All right, let's get you some new fresh greens today. And let's go get your buggies. Let's go get your buggies. I know you're hungry for those. Do you want to come with me to go get tater tot spugs? Let's go! You want to go get tater tot spugs? <laughs> okay, we'll go. All right, my husband has this set up over here is our Dubia colony, our colonies. And here in Texas, the weather is very crazy. So he's been getting these covered so they stay warm. What are you doing, Moose? What are you doing, Moose? Some of our supplies over here. Um, we put the dubias in these bags when we ship them out. But let me show you guys our little setup here. And these are our two big bins with um, our breeder bins. And let's see, this one is, we got the little babies in there. So I'm not going to mess with them because they're getting nice and big. So those are our small bins. What are you doing, Moose? Are you sniffing everything? And so this must be our bend that Tater Tot eats out of. My husband just rearranged this yesterday, so I'm kind of like trying to figure out what he just did. So, so yeah, we're gonna do this bend for Tater Tot. This is our medium to large bend. And as you can see, we got lots of little friends to sell. Let me know if you guys need any. So when feeding Tater Tot, I like to pick these medium sized ones, but not too big because he's still smaller and you don't want to get a bug that is bigger than their eye width. So this is about Tater Tot's eye width right here. Let my camera focus on him so I like to give him and then here is some calcium dust I'm sure a lot of you guys that have beardies knew about that but um, like to go ahead and give him about six to eight of these and we can see that some of these are getting this is a female right here She's, you see how shiny she is? I don't know if it, the camera's focusing on it or not. Um, but we missed that one, or she must have just flourished while we had this. Um, she should really be in our breeder. And we have a lot of male dubias um, because there's a ratio that we have to have when we're, that is like a healthy, for a healthy colony, because the, the males will fight each other. So you don't want to have too many males. So let me see how many is that. Um, five, I'll do, let's do you. So you're gonna make six. And let's do two more. Cause he goes crazy. I bet you, I wonder if he's even missed. And I think it's really funny how they just crawl up in here like this. And they're like, oh, we're gonna hide and pile on each other so you don't see us, ma'am. I'm sorry guys, and you know what, I used to be terrified of roaches, believe it or not, my parents own a pest control service, and all my life, you know, I've been around bugs to some extent, because my dad would bring them home, and he would have specimens, and he would even <laughs> kind of scare us with them sometimes as a 
as a, he thought was a funny joke, but we weren't laughing. But anyway, so I always had this like fear of roaches. But since we've had these dubia, since we've gotten reptiles, it's really helped me to get over. Now I still won't handle them without these tongs. <laughs> they still kind of freak me out a little bit and my husband too, but they don't bother me. Um, and I've kind of grown fond of them if that makes, I know that sounds kind of weird, but I have. I'm like, they're kind of cute to me now. So let's go feed these. Let's go moose. Come on. He wants to go for a walk. All right, let's go feed Tater Tot. Let's go feed Tater Tot. I like to leave the back door open for Moose to go in and out, especially on nice days. The weather right here in Texas this morning is in the 60s. So it's been a good day. So I put my bugs up here, got them all ready, and there's Tater Tot, so let's feed them. Okay, are you ready for some foodie? Oh, he's ready. <laughs> he just jumps up and gets it, Moose, off. No. <clears throat> Moose gets a little excited because, of course, he's a GSP. And dogs and lizards, you have to be really careful with them, especially a, a hunting um, <clears throat> hunting ones because they just they just will not be so you know they'll, they'll look at them like something to hunt and kill um moose we, we take them out and I'm going to show y'all some videos whenever I go on my walks with moose and he is a big time bunny chaser and we live out where there's a lot of wild fields here in Texas and so yeah he He'll eat, um, well, he doesn't eat the bunnies, but he'll chase after them. And most of the time, they're pretty, they're pretty fast, and he doesn't get them. But there's been a time or two where he's gotten a hold of a bunny, and the poor bunny, it didn't make it. So that's not fun, you know, when that happens. All right, let me show you guys what I do over here. So I've hidden a few bugs. Um in these cork little um but i think he's gonna find one right now i just let him go in there and he gets them see because i like to um have him have his skills of hunting and being active so usually out of the eight i put in here i might put like half of them in the cork uh, little de decorations here and let them crawl all around it and be in the dark and then he might not find them all at once but usually they're like in there hiding throughout the day and then he'll see them when he's on his rock or something like that or see he just found another one and here's another one see he just they just hide all around and that way he'll he'll see them and it'll keep him kind of in that active phase where he doesn't get he just gets some exercise where he doesn't get kind of, um, <clears throat> you know, lazy. Because our other bearded dragon, he was just Mr. Lazy. And it was like, he was like, go ahead and put it in my mouth. And with Tater Tot, I'm really trying not to like do that. I want him to hunt. I want him to find his, his food and be active and not be lazy. Um, so yeah, so he's gonna keep looking around for them. And he's starting to shed. He just shed most of it the other day, but he's got a little bit left up here. And I try not to mess with him too much. Um, I don't want to pull it off too too early because sometimes it's still not ready to come off because I don't want to hurt him. But um, if it's just barely hanging, then I'll I'll pull it off for him. Um, but I'm gonna let him go ahead and search now. Have fun, Tater. There he goes. Finding them all good today. All right, say bye, Moose. Bye.